Hi Tubis, here's Alexandra and what you can see here is uh, my uh, ready to paint build of my uh, <coughs> Imperial Knight. As you can uh, see he is missing some things. Well, um, the main part of this video uh, will be uh, construction information uh, on this uh, particular model. Uh, on this particular model, sorry. Um, well, uh, if you build uh, a model like this, then uh, you have to keep some things in mind. So um, you can't uh, just take the box out and uh, clip all the parts out and uh, expect uh, that um, yeah your model will be fine. So um, let's start right off. He is uh, obviously uh, right now modular. Um, first things first. You have to consider painting while building him. So uh, I have left all the armor parts uh, of this Imperial Knight uh, of him because uh, I want to paint them separately. Um, the main body and also the legs here will be uh, mainly painted in silver and uh, all the armor plates will be uh, painted in different colors and uh, so I kept them away. So let's look at the uh, parts itself, what I have uh, kept from the building. Uh, those are here the uh, armor plates for the for the legs, for the uh, lower part of the legs. Then uh, here the knee joints and uh, or knee armor plates and uh, the upper leg armor plates. Oh, sorry. There we have them. Here, these four. Uh, then we have the uh, thing that protects here the middle section of the legs. <clears throat> then we have this part here. This is uh, the armor plating uh, around the head from uh, the Imperial Knight. Then, of course, here the uh, breastplate. Sorry if the lighting is not right. <coughs> um, normally here is a, a parchment scroll over it, but uh, I don't like it, uh, so I scraped it away. Then obviously uh, the shield. And the faceplate. There are uh, three different uh, faceplates in the set and also uh, the knight itself has a more mechanical looking face, so you have four different faces uh, in your option. Decide whatever face you want and, uh, well, leave it away. So then, uh, of course, the shoulder plates, they're also off the table. <clears throat> so now let's uh, talk about the build itself. Here also the uh, carapace of this thing uh, goes off. I haven't uh, glued that in yet for a separate painting. And here you can uh, see the whole body and you see uh, the arms uh, are nice moving. And you obviously can also take them off. But this is uh, due to the fact that I have magnetized them. So uh, now we come to tip number one when building this, uh, this part of model, uh, this kind of model. As you can see here, there and there, these little uh, dots in there, there and there, there were uh, previously some uh, little knots uh, sticking out and you could uh, then place the arm and rotate it like a tank turret and it would fit. Uh, normally you don't have to magnetize it to uh, make the arms movable, but if you want to have the uh, arms uh, removable, then you have to magnetize them. The reason being is uh, the following. So you can see here, this is uh, the uh, slider or whatever where uh, the shoulder uh, guard will fit in. So there's not really room or place to fit a magnet in there. So normally this would sit on like this. See? There you go. So, and uh, the joints uh, for this particular uh, arm joint are on the sides. That means the pegs are here up and down. 
um, you would have to uh, insert the arm and rotate it more up than the shoulder guard would uh, allow it. So, it is not possible to uh, take off the arm while the shoulder pad is uh, attached. So, you have two options. Either you uh, magnetize the shoulder pad, or the more easy way is to magnetize the arm. What, I, what you can see here, I have uh, placed in a little metal plate in there. And then uh, I have uh, placed a magnet in here and uh, filled the remaining uh, um, area here with green stuff. So actually uh, this is up to here, normal green stuff, and uh, the upper layers are liquid green stuff. I had to uh, make this with liquid green stuff two times because uh, of the uh, reduction uh, after drying. But uh, nevertheless, it is now uh, nice and uh, fits in perfectly. So, uh, also keep in mind to not glue this part here that the uh, uh, chainsaw is still movable and then you can uh, simply attach it like that. So, next thing uh, you should keep in mind um, here in the instruction manual it says that uh, the head should be movable this weapon and the shield here because uh, there are here and here a glue point and you should possibly uh, turn them but the thing is the fit is so tight that when you uh, try to turn them you will break this bonds so uh, I would uh, suggest to glue them properly in without the movability um, because of uh, breaking issues same goes for the hat so here is a little bit movable uh, up and down like that, but very, very minor. And uh, the right and left is not movable, but uh, that's okay. So, <clears throat> next uh, point, you see there the hole in there. Let's uh, give it a little bit more light. There is a little dome under here and uh, with this hole. So, this corresponds uh, with the lag itself. Here we have uh, the positive part of the dome with this uh, little pack sticking out and uh, you can see it is uh, looking through there uh, there there you go so um, you could leave it like that uh, it uh, totally stands on its own like that you see but uh, if you want to uh, make that a more uh, well uh, yeah fit together uh, thing, um, you could uh, possibly use something like that. This is uh, just a, a little cross of sprue and uh, then you glue that on top of this uh, little knot down there. And uh, that way the uh, torso wouldn't uh, be able to fall off but also it would be absolutely movable. So same with the magnetization goes for the other arm, you can see here. Ta -da. <clears throat> so, uh, also for uh, painting purposes, here are these little uh, ladder steps here and here. Um, there are more here on the uh, carapace. I have um, figured that out uh, later. For painting purposes, I would highly recommend to, uh, well, not use them at all. I will fill these uh, holes with green stuff and uh, not use them because. Uh, in my opinion, it uh, looks much better and it's more easy to paint without these uh, little letters here. I personally don't like them. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, actually all there is to this uh, Imperial Knight Titan. Um, <clears throat> also, I wouldn't recommend to use the shoulder pads just uh, like that. Just uh, place them on. They will easy easy fell off and this would be totally annoying in the game. Yeah, so much for the tips uh, for building up this uh, thing. If you have it uh, like that, you can uh, totally paint it very easy. Uh, remove all the uh, armor parts, paint them separately and uh, paint the main body in silver. Spray paint it black, uh, dry brush it with silver in several uh, layers and uh, then add the armor parts when they are painted and your thing is done. Yeah.
I hope you like this uh, little video about this Imperial Knight. And uh, well, we see us in the next video. You're Alexandra.